Hey everybody, welcome to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com, VisionRecordingStudios.com, and here on my YouTube channel. And today I'm really excited to show you a product that all you home studio owners can use, whether you're a recording studio, whether you're a videographer, whether you're a photographer, this product will really help streamline your workflow, make your life a lot, lot easier. And what I'm talking about is I'm talking about these series of microphone stands I have next to me here by a company called Triad Orbit. Now what makes these microphones a little bit special compared to your standard microphone that you would find in one of your big box stores, and we'll do a comparison between the two here in a second, is this is more of a modular system. And what I mean by that is you have a series of basic microphone stands and with the use of some of their uh, proprietary adapters you can uh, put onto these stands to hold different things like microphones video cameras lighting rigs so on and so forth um, and what makes them even more super special is that these things are made to last they're gonna last you a lifetime these will be the last set of microphone stands you'll ever have to buy so let's take a look at these. So what you see next to me here is you see the, um, the four basic stands that they offer uh, in their series here. To my far right here, we have the mini stand here, or the, the mini uh, microphone stand. Next to that, uh, over to the, to the right here, is the T1 microphone stand. Uh, right here is the T2, and right here is the T3. And as you can see from my right to left here is that uh, you know the smaller and they get bigger as you get up to the T3. The difference being is that the, the, the smaller ones only uh, go up a certain height amount and then the larger ones like the T3 will go up extra tall where you can use them for like overheads and tom-tom uh, when you're miking up a drum kit, so on and so forth. So let's take a little bit of an up close and personal look at some of these microphone stands and how unique they are and how they can help you in your home studio. So the first thing I want to do is I want to do a little bit of a comparison and I want to show you what makes these microphone stands uh, special from a construction point of view. So what I have here in front of me is I have what you would typically buy in one of your big box stores and I'll move it up closer to the camera so you can see it. This is a, probably a $25, $30 mic stand that you would buy in any one of your big uh, musical center box stores here. Uh, most of you probably have, have these types of stands uh, in your home studio. And we're gonna compare them to the Triad Orbit stand. So these stands here, this is a, a typical tripod stand with a boom on it. Okay, as we can see here by the construction of these stands, we have a, an adjustment here that we can loosen and we can tilt the boom this way. We have a telescoping uh, thing where we can move the boom arm this way. Now, again, this is a, you know, a relatively inexpensive stand, $25, $30 stand. Everything here is made out of plastic. You have, although the, the stand itself is metal, it's a, it's a pretty light gauge, hollow type of a tubing. It's not very heavy duty. Uh, it's kind of, kind of, you know, kind of light, kind of flimsy. Uh, even though these things tighten up here, uh, all these parts inside of here are gonna be all plastic bushings or nylon bushings. They're not really built to last. Over time, I'm sure if you have one of these types of stands in your studio and you use these and after a while you constantly loosen and tighten these things, what will happen is the, the boom arm will start to kind of tilt on its own as these things start to wear out. Uh, also, all the adjustments here on the, on the boom itself, on the boom arm, again, all plastic. It does work when they're brand new, they work okay, but over time these things get stripped, they crack, they break, they don't last as long uh, as you would probably hope for. Uh, down here you'll have an adjustment, I'll back this up a little, where you can, uh, again, adjust this stand up and down, but once again, thin, small kind of a locking mechanism, all made out of plastic. Over time, these things start to wear out, and then if you put a heavy microphone stand on these, you'll start to get these things will start to kind of fall down on their own. I'm sure you've experienced that, as I have in my studio, after using these types of stands. Uh, the other thing about this type of a stand is that, again, I'll just fold this down so you guys can see this. Is that we have our standard tripod here, our tripod legs here that you kind of fold up here. Okay, again, this part down here, all plastic, there's an adjustment screw here to adjust the height of the stand into the tripod mechanism. Again, it's all plastic. Um, and what's a little uh, limiting with these stands is you can fold them out as a tripod, but look at the size of the footprint that this kind of takes up. This takes up quite a bit of a footprint on the floor. So you can imagine when you're, when you're miking up things like drum kits and such, uh, and you have lots of microphone stands around a drum kit, that these things can kind of get in the way. They're not very flexible as far as how you can kind of position them. Um, so again, although it's an all-purpose, general-purpose stand, it isn't made of the highest quality. It's got a lot of plastic parts, hence the price tag, $25, $30. They're gonna wear out, they're not gonna last as long. 
You're not gonna wanna put a real expensive high-end microphone on a stand like this. You know, I go into some people's home studios and I see they put a three or a $4,000 microphone on a stand like this. And when you uh, extend it and put a microphone on the end of it, what ends up happening is they're very susceptible to tip over. Very easy, one finger with almost no pressure. These stands will easily tip over. So this is our general purpose stands, okay? Now if we compare that to a Triad Orbit stand, and I'm just gonna grab the T1 here because they're all made the same way. One, they're just taller or smaller depending on the one that you get. Here is the T1. I'll bring this up close to the camera so you can see it. You can see it right there. T1, okay, let's first start with the bottom of the stand. Now, what we're gonna feel right away is this stand is super, super heavy duty. I believe this stand is about 10 pounds. I'll put up a, a link on the screen where you can go out to their website and check out the spec sheet, but I believe this is 10 pounds. Compared to this stand, which is twice the size, this is probably three, three pounds maybe, three, three and a half, four pounds. This is easily 10 pounds, okay? And this stand is half the size of that stand. Uh, so it's very durable, very rugged made out of all heavy duty steel. This is not gonna crack, not gonna break, not gonna tip over, not gonna get damaged. Whether you're using it in the studio or you're taking it on the road, these are durable and made to last. One of the things I wanna show you underneath here is you can see in the bottom of this, all these little metal pieces in here that make this stand very, very rugged. And you have these adjustable uh, levers on the, uh, on the legs that you can just pull down with your thumb and you can move these in all kinds of different positions. Okay, so unlike the other stand where you have a tripod that has to be all the way out like this and takes up a lot of floor space, these stands, just by the click of a button here, you can make these legs really any way you want. So when you stick these on the floor, they take up a lot less of a footprint which is really, really cool. So you can imagine having a bunch of these stands, again, around a drum kit like I do behind me, where you can kind of get the stands very close together. You can use these stands in a way where they're very uh, a narrow uh, footprint or a very wide footprint, and they're not gonna tip over. They're not going to get rattled and shaken on the floor at all. Very sturdy, very, very durable, very, very nice, very, very unique design. Okay, so just on the legs and on the bottom, and again, and they're very weighted down here. Again, this is all made out of steel, this part here. All made out of high, high cast metal. Not gonna break, not gonna crack, no parts to wear out. Everything is really rugged, it's gonna last a lifetime. You can see here, unlike the other uh, general purpose stands where the, the adjustments are all these little thin plastic, this is nice heavy duty rubber. Very easy to kind of tighten and just really grip it down. You get your hands on there, you can tighten it down really nice. This thing is not going anywhere. No matter how much I push down, these things aren't going anywhere. Same thing here. You got the rubber grip, you can pull these up and down, nice and tight. These things are not going anywhere. Okay, so this one little stand that's half the height of this other stand weighs probably three times as much and is built 10 times better, okay? Last stand you're ever gonna buy. These are great for snare drums. This is great for using, uh, putting a kick drum mic on here. What makes the Triad Orbit stand super unique to anything else that I've ever seen on the market, although the construction is really great, that's only half the story. The other half of the story and what makes this stand just an awesome, awesome product is this little thing in the front here. Let me put it up on the camera. You see this hole here? This is the, the quick change coupler modular system where with all their different uh, adapters, you can put right into this stand and this stand can be used for many different things. So let me show you. So let me put this down. Let me get out the T2 here again, which is built exactly the same way. And this is probably 12, 12 pounds or so. Again, super heavy duty with the coupler system right on the top here. So what comes with every Triad Orbit stand is one of these little adapters. Let me just get one here for you that we can. Let me put up to the camera here. I got it screwed into a microphone. So as you can see here, see this little, this little peg here? Okay, this just screws into the bottom of any standard mic clip. And then look what we do here. It's a, it's a quick coupler. It's a coupler system, like a quick change, like a quick release coupler that you would see where you just pull down on this sleeve and the microphone pops right out. Pull down on the sleeve, microphone pops right in. You can lift it up by the microphone. This thing is locked into the microphone stand. It's locked in place, it's not going anywhere. Okay, you can just pull this, take it out, and if you wanted to put another type of microphone, another type of accessory, you could put it right into the top of the stand. Such as, here's a video camera. You're a videographer, you can use one of their other adapters and I'm gonna show you all the adapters in a second. This happens to be the M2, let me get this up on the camera here. 
the M2, which is an accessory adapter that you can buy that comes with not only this, but also comes with these little adapters here that you can screw into the bottom of your video camera, for example, or for an LED light system or any type of an electronic. You screw it in there, you screw it right onto the M2, okay? And then you can take this, you can pop this right into your mic stand. And now by using this little rubber wheel here on the side, you can loosen it and you can adjust this camera any way you want. You wanna shoot up, down, left, right. You have 360 degree complete control over where this camera is pointed or where a microphone is pointed. So think of the possibilities on how you can you know, mic up different instruments in your studio, uh, guitar cabinets where you can put a, a microphone on here and, uh, and mic up like a 412 cabinet. We could put a boom arm on here, which I'm gonna show you in a second, where you can get complete control in the way that you uh, adjust whatever accessory you have on top of the microphone stand. So here's another example. And again, you just pull down, pull it out, and it's done, okay? And again, you can see the M2 with this little thumb wheel on here. Loosen that up, we have complete 360 degree, degree control. It's made out of a nice steel ball here. So this thing is, again, really tough, really rigid, gonna last a lifetime, not gonna break, not gonna crack, no little plastic parts here. Everything is made out of heavy duty steel and is made to last. Okay, so that's the M2 adapter, which is great for video cameras. I use this all the time in my studio. A lot of the videos that you see on my YouTube channel are made with one of these microphone stands and the M2 with my video camera. This is a great, great accessory. So let's take a look at, at some of the other adapters uh, that they make here. Now, one thing is super unique if you do not have a triad orbit stand yet in your collection and you have a couple of standard uh, stands that you like, or if you have a couple of uh, higher end uh, stands, you know, real heavy duty cast stands in your studio and you just want the, the quick change system, the coupler system, what you can do is you can buy some of the accessories that are made by Triad Orbit that will adapt to any microphone stand and here is one of them, the IO-R, okay, and you can see Vision on the top, this is actually my own personal uh, <laughs> uh, piece here that I've used for a long time, and then the IOR what you get in the box. And another thing that I love about Triad Orbit is the way they package their stuff. Everything is in a nice heavy foam. Everything is in here protected. You have all little accessories and wrenches, but you have this little adapter, the IOR, see that? And this has a thread on the bottom that will allow you to attach this to any microphone stand, okay? And it also comes with our little, again, everything is packaged in here so well. Again, our little adapter. So let me show you how this works. So. Here's our standard stand, again, our general general stand. Okay, we can take this, we can screw it on. Again, any microphone stand. Take our microphone, and there you go. So now, you have your standard stand that you have in your studio, but you can have the quick change system on here with this adapter. Same thing with your video camera. As an example, if you wanted to put your video camera on here with your uh, M2 adapter, you can do this. And now you have a video camera set up. So this is really cool. So even if you don't have, currently don't have any Triad Orbit stands, the T1, T2, T3, or the Mini, you can use your own microphone stand and just put this adapter on here, which is really cool. But again, what makes Triad Orbit special is they make a whole bunch of other types of adapters and boom arms that will work on their uh, series of stands. So let's take a look at some of those and how you might be able to use those. So again, here is one, uh, this is the O1 boom arm. Let me put this up on the camera here. Again, really heavy duty, really rigid, made out of high quality steel with a counterweight on the back. This thing is awesome. Again, the big rubber grips, just like on the stands. You loosen this thing, you can extend this out as far as you need to. Again, you have another a grip up here. So again, you have the same thing. You have the little peg that just goes right into the top of the stand. And there we go. And then we can use this uh, little adjustment on the side. And we have, again, a big steel ball in here. Okay, I'll bring this up closer so you can see it. Big steel ball. Again, you have complete control wherever you want to put this boom arm. Really, 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 really cool. Tighten this down. Again, it's all made out of heavy duty. 
types of metals. It's not made out of anything that's cheap plastic. You really sock that down, and this thing is not going anywhere. We can uh, adjust this out like this as far as we want, right? We can bring this all the way up here. And let me uh, tighten that down. Let me send this back a little bit, and then let me loosen this, and it even comes way out here. Let me just get this in the frame of the camera so you can see how long of a boom that is. Now this is on the T2. This is not even the most heavy duty. This is the 12 pound stand, not the 14 and a half pound stand, which is the T3. And look how far you can extend that over a set of tom-toms on your drum kit, a set of overheads uh, on your drum kit. And just by tipping on this, this thing is not tipping over. Let me get on the other side here. If we remember with the general stand, the general purpose stand, one finger with the boom only extended maybe a part of the way and we were already starting to tip over. I can push down on this thing pretty good. And this thing is not tipping over. This thing won't go anywhere. And as you can see, I'll move this back a little. The legs are not even at a full tripod. They're not even full, like, like the standard, not a fully extended. These things are not even fully extended. If you extended this out even further, you'd even have more strength on this end. But look how far you can extend that out with this. And again, what's great about it is you can just take it off, down. Okay, so you have one stand, regardless of the stand that you have, you can get different types of boom arms. Okay, so this is the 01 boom. Okay, let's check another one out. This one I really like. This one is called the O2. Let me show you this. Okay, what makes this special, as you can see, we have, again, this goes right into the top of the microphone stand. We have two boom arms on here. So you can visualize this being over a set of, say, rack toms, like behind me here. One microphone stand, two microphones right over the top of your toms. One microphone stand, two microphones as overheads on your drum kit. Let me show you how you use this. Let's take, again, let's take the, uh, the T3 this time. This is more heavy, a little more heavy duty than the T2. And this one will, is like a 14 pound, I think it's 14 and a half pounds this stand. Again, lock it down. This thing is like 14, 15 pounds, really heavy duty. Stick this in the top. There you go, locks in place. Turn it around here. Again, we have these adjustments here. We can put this like this. We could put this like this. And now, if I move this down a little so you can see it a little bit better, we can even extend these boom arms as far as we want. And look how quick and easy this is. We have, again, complete. I'll turn this to the side so you can see it a little bit better. Maybe like this, eh, maybe like that, that's a little bit better. So we have again, complete 360 degree control over each one of these booms, as you can see, right? So we can adjust these any way we want to get them right where we need to, depending on whatever the source of the microphone is. Okay, this can also be used for, think about, we're talking about recording drums, but also think about having a video camera and maybe a light right, on, on, on the other arm. So you can put the video camera at your subject, you can take this boom, you can adjust it any which way, and you can, you know, put a light up here to shine down on the subject. Okay, so this thing is extremely versatile. You can get really, really creative by using this system. And again, these things are super, super heavy duty. They're not going anywhere. You lock these things down. They're there forever. They're gonna stay in place. And again, with this arm on here, this thing has gotta be close to 20 pounds. Super heavy duty, is not gonna tip over. No matter how much you pull on it, you'd have to put an enormous amount of weight on here for this thing to tip over. I use this when I uh, mic up my overheads on my drum kit behind me. I use this setup right here, the T3 with these O2 overheads, perfect. One less microphone stand I have to deal with on already a crowded drum kit to begin with. And again, what's great, you pull down on the coupler, pulls right out, go right onto your next adapter. So let's take a look at another boom. This is the OM. This is the same as the O1, but it's a mini, this is the mini boom arm, okay? So it's a, it's a, it's a boom arm, but not as long as the other one that I showed you. But again, same thing snaps in place you got this heavy duty adjustment with the big with the big ball here in the center so again 360 degree control however you want to do it and this is great for 
on snare drums, on kick drums, on the little mini stands. Can you open this up? It, it extends out, right? We can do this, lock this down, and we can even extend or retract this as well. So you have, again, great possibilities. And again, once you lock these things down, they're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. You could put a real heavy duty microphone on here. This thing is not gonna tip over. It's not gonna go any place. Okay, so there's another adapter for you. Again, this is the OM, the mini boom. <clears throat> also wanna show you a couple other adapters. Here is the Micro 2, the M2. Let me show you this. Okay, this is just a different variation of a couple of their other things here. <clears throat> so again, we have, you saw this on the video camera here. Here's the package that, 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 that comes in. Okay, so you could put a microphone, you could put a video camera. It comes with the little adapters in the box to screw into different types of electronics, which is really, really handy. So again, you can use this thing on more than just microphones. You can use it on all different types of electronics that have the threads on the bottom of them. We have the Micro One, the M1 which is similar to, the, to what I just showed you, but it has a little bit longer of an arm of a gooseneck here. So again, what's nice about this, again, gives you just a little bit different flavor depending on your needs. So there we go here, there we go. And this is just a little bit longer of a, of a neck here, okay? Depending on what your needs are. So again, what's really great about this system is once you have a triad orbit stand you can buy the different types of adapters to fit your needs and again i urge you to go out to their website i'll put it up on the screen here and take a look at all the different accessories that they have i only have a very small portion of what they have to offer and it seems like every six months or so they're coming out with more and more stuff and maybe at one point i'll get some more stuff here in the studio and i'll show it to you but that is the m1 another thing that we can have here which is really really handy this is the ioc clamp advanced stand systems the mounting clamp. So this is really cool. If you are someone who does podcasting, uh, someone who has video cameras or microphones on your desk and you don't want a big stand in the way, you want to use um, a way to kind of streamline it. What you can do, here it is right here, the IOC. Okay, so envision this again, it snaps right into the, right into the, to the, to the stand, right? And we have this clamp arm here. Let's open this up a little bit. So you can envision this clamping over your desk, clamping this thing down, right? Upside underneath the desk, so it would look kind of like this, right? And you put your, uh, your, micro, your, your microphone in here, now you have a microphone attached to your desk or a video camera attached to the desk or at the edge of a tabletop or something like that. So you don't have to have a big mic stand sitting on the floor. You can go ahead and you can put this clamp on your desk and you can put any of the, uh, any kind of accessory you want and it's real streamlined doesn't take up a big thing on the floor and it makes it really easy to use so that is the clamp system and the last thing i want to show you quickly which i think is really cool is the iovm kit and what this has in it this has two pieces in it this has the Class D VESA mount which you can use to mount to the back of a of, a, of an lcd monitor a computer monitor okay along with the OA and I'm going to show you how I use this it just comes in a box like this okay and let me show you what this is used for I use this in my studio just about every day as well and I'm going to try to move this out of the way and I'm going to pull this out in front here just so you can see for you videographers for you guys making YouTube videos this is really really cool so take a look at this so what I've done is I've mounted with the uh, with their VESA mount I have mounted uh, the, my monitor to a T3 microphone stand. And there I am on TV here, and you can see I can run uh, my, my video camera out to this LCD monitor so I can see what I look like in the frame as I'm shooting these YouTube videos. This is super, super handy, guys. So basically what this is, and I'll do some close-ups and put some B-roll on the screen. This is basically a T3 stand with casters on there, okay? And then you can go ahead and you can mount uh, the monitor to it and you have this uh, again this uh, 
this, uh, this adjustment where you can adjust the height of the monitor, you can adjust the swivel of the monitor. Again, I'll do some close-up shots for you. Super, super handy, and then you can just wheel it out of the way when you're not using it anymore. You can put it over next to your video camera, out of the frame, so you can see what you're looking like when you're filming your videos. Super, super handy kit. It's a T3 stand with some, uh, some holes on the bottom of the legs where you can thread in the casters and then you can mount your LCD monitor to that stand. And again, you can have it mobile around your studio, which is super, 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 super cool. And it makes it very, very convenient. So what's great again about the Triad Orbit's advanced stand system is depending on the stand that you get, they're all the same. They're just from small, medium, and large, kind of mini T1, T2, T3. Again, very heavy duty very very rugged lots and lots of different options that you can add to the tops of the stands with all the different accessories they have to customize the system to your particular needs which is great and they're going to last a lifetime it is by far the best microphone stand uh, system that I've ever seen and I use these every single day in my studio and I wanted to pass that along to some of you who might be in the market for some new stands or looking for some creative ways to do some uh, YouTube video recording in your studio or if you um, have a real uh, confined kind of a short on space and you can't have all these stands all over the place and you need things to take up a lot less of a footprint, Triad Orbit is the way to go. So again, head out to triadorbit.com, check out everything else they have to offer. This is only a very small portion of everything they have to offer. And again, every six months or so, they're coming out with new products. I urge you to take a look at their stuff. Take a look at the spec sheet on their system. It'll tell you about how high these stands go, the actual weight of the stands, and give you some more details around the construction. So I hope you enjoyed this video uh, being introduced to the Triad Orbit advanced microphone stand system. My name is David with homerecordingmadeeasy.com for more tips, tricks, product demos, reviews, and training around everything home recording. Be sure to head out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. And until next time with the next video, this has been David and I will speak to you all soon. Take care.